What's up guys? It is Tuesday around 11, I believe. Let's check really quick. 10. It's around 10 a.m. Um, I've yet to eat. What I've been doing today though is we have released um, our new ebook on physiquedevelopment.com and just to give you guys like a little taste of what that page looks like. Here's just a little taste of what that page looks like. Um, it's a reverse dieting guide with a nine week program to go with it. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Zach, the flexible dieting lifestyle, um, he has come to me for coaching and he wanted me to build him a training program, but I, we decided that a reverse dieting guide would be great to go with it. So if you guys want to claim this bundle, Again, for over 75% off, I encourage you guys go check out that link really quick. Um, but what we're going to do right now, since I haven't eaten yet, is we're going to have our first meal of the day, which is going to be some beef, some lean ground beef, and some, uh, some cashews here. So um, it's going to be about six ounces of beef and about well, we're gonna go a handful and a half so tracking wise it's gonna be a, uh, like one and a half servings and then um, some coconut oil to go in that just a half a serving of coconut oil um, I really like just having proteins and fats to start my day um, kick, kick start my metabolism off with some proteins and fats just because I feel better and I tend to have more energy throughout the day and going into my workout so um, what you guys can expect in this video and this vlog is a little bit of day of eating type stuff and also a workout with a commentary. So um, we're hitting the quads today, so stay tuned for that and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Just to kind of show you guys what this looks like in MyFitnessPal is I'm gonna go to MyFitnessPal, which I keep down there just in the bottom so it's convenient. So as my fitness pal loads here, um, again I'm having that beef and cashew meal. And as we go to diary down here in the bottom of the screen, um, and then I've already actually inserted this food so I just scanned it. Um, so just to add food, and remember we just go to add food, click this scanner button up top and you just actually scan the QR code on a product. So we're gonna go back. So I've already entered this stuff in. So from this screen right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says nutrition, and then boom, there's our macros for this meal. Protein, 40 grams. Carbohydrates, only 10 grams. And fat is 36 grams. So that is gonna be that meal. Um, and for each meal, I'm going to kind of show you guys how I enter it into my fitness pal. So meal one is done. What we're going to do is set it on the scale first. That way we can just, oh, the scale's already on. So this is actually good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tear it. So as you see there, maybe it won't focus. No, anyways. So anyways, we're going to press that right there and that's going to tear it to zero. And we're going to make sure, since we're wanting to measure in grams, it's on grams right there. So, on the back here, it's going to tell us at the top, I'm not sure it's going to focus. Anyways, at the top of that nutrition label, it's going to tell us that 15 milliliters is a serving. So, one milliliter equals one gram. So, here, we're having a half of serving of this. So, we're going to want around seven grams to display here on on our screen. So we are going to pour until it says, wow. Anyways. All right. So if this happens, this is my mistake. So if this happens, one, be more careful or measure it separately in a different container. Um, but I'll just have to track this. Um, I'm going to have to track that as a little over two servings. So, um, actually, in this next clip, I'll tell you exactly how to track that. It's my calculator, and so on the screen it said, or on our scale it said 19 grams instead of the, the 15 that we wanted. So to get the serving size, we're gonna go 
we're gonna go 19 divided by 15, because that's the serving size. And we have 1.26. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my fitness pal. I'm gonna go in and edit this. So instead of it saying a half a serving right here, I need it to say 1.2. So here, instead of it saying a half a serving, it's gonna say 1.2, and that is how we're gonna make an edit into my fitness pal here. So as you guys can see, that was extremely easy to do. Um, it's also extremely easy to mess up in the sense that I poured way more coconut oil than I wanted. So um, I would say that you should probably always do your oils and stuff that are very calorically dense and maybe another container, weigh it in that, and then pour it on your meal. Um, therefore, if you over pour in the container separately, it's okay because you can just pour it back in the bottle before you pour it all over your meal. But unfortunately, there's no way to actually extract that coconut oil from my bowl, so um, just have to bite the bullet on that one. Thankfully, I have a lot of fat macros to play with today, so um, I'll be okay. But I hope that little demonstration helped in my fitness pal. And if it didn't, um, please ask questions in the comment box below. All right, while I wait for my web guy to answer me and call me back, um, we're doing some really cool stuff with the website, so uh, hold up on that. But in the meantime, we are gonna have a protein shake. Um, this is probably my favorite meal before the gym. Uh, it's just a scoop of whey protein with the MCT oil. Um, MCT, MCT oil, uh, medium chain triglycerides, are excellent for just quick, fast energy, um, especially before the gym. Uh, and it also just allows for insane focus. Uh, paired with my pre-workout stack, which I will show you guys before I go to the gym. But as promised today, we are going to hit legs. So there will be a voice commentary over each exercise and the total workout in its entirety. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. All right guys, we are about 30 minutes out from our workout. Um, we are about, I would say 30 to 40 minutes post uh, whey protein and MCT oil shake. So, um, turns out we're doing all the website stuff tomorrow. So, um, I waited around a little bit for that today, but that's okay. Uh, I got a lot of client work done, so that was good. So, what we're going with today is um, one scoop of Prolific by PE Science. Um, I really like Prolific, uh, great focus. It's packed with good uh, nootropics, so brain health, focus, cognition. Um, so that is great during your workout. I only go one scoop just because it is about 175, I believe, milligrams of caffeine per serving. Let me check on that. 160. 160. So. Um, uh, 160 uh, per per scoop, so uh, it's pretty late in the day. It's around 2:30 right now um, here in Australia. So uh, if I take caffeine too late in the day, I tend to yeah, stay up all night. So um, the second supplement is Ergonine. Uh, the Ergonine is just filled with some nine daily essentials. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box below if you guys want to go check this product out. Um, another excellent product. Uh, one, one product that is a staple that I am missing from this stack is high volume, which if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know I love high volume. But unfortunately, since my move to here to Australia, uh, I haven't got an athlete package yet because they sent it about a month ago and I think they shipped it from the States. So it's, it's, a, it's a long journey to get here if you don't know. Um, so hopefully I'll get that soon. But this is my pre-workout staff. I'm gonna drink this um, and then head to the gym. So see you guys at the gym. What is going on guys? Welcome to the commentary. Uh, the first movement we start out with here is the leg extension. So I'm just showing you how to pull down into the seat, 
keep your chest proud. And here in a second, I'm gonna show you, there it is, that visual of pulling that knee to that hip. Um, that's crucial in finding your contraction. A lot of people wanna drive up with their knee, not in. Um, so that is a huge tip that hopefully you guys can take away from this set. Um, so I'm, I'm going with four second contractions here. Peak contractions at the top, really trying to squeeze and find that contraction before I move on to this first working set of my compound movements. Um, so I'm starting with this power V squat. Um, they don't have a hack squat at this gym, so uh, hack squat is something I really enjoy and this V squat is the next best thing in my opinion. So I'm um, keeping my feet rather low on the platform relative um, to, my, to my body. Um, I have my toes pointed out slightly um, just to line up with my, the tracking of my knee just to make sure I don't have any knee discomfort. Um, and I think the big point here is you can see how hard I am driving into that back pad and keeping my contact points strong. So the more sturdy and steady you can be in this, in this machine, the better. Um, and this next, so I did five total sets there, um, just showing you uh, that I went, did go up in weight and I work up to about 400 and, no, I, I worked up to 505 pounds. Uh, this next, I'm showing you how I put the bands on the leg press. So the next uh, set of movements is going to be the leg extension again, paired with the banded leg press. So we're gonna do six of the leg extension and superset that with 12 of the leg press. So uh, a really good reason to ban the leg press is it tends to fall off about halfway up. Um, so by adding that band right there, I am able to keep the tension throughout the entire range of the movement. So that's, that's absolutely crucial when trying to form a really good superset. So um, more on that is just creating a good superset involves getting a muscle short and working it um, through that mid and lengthened range throughout the entire uh, duration of that superset. So here in this exercise, I'm getting the muscle short, I'm getting my quad short and squeezing, just like we did in the primer movement. And here I'm working on the mid range and actually pausing slightly at the bottom to add some load in the lengthened range. Um, so there is a rhyme and reason for everything. So please take note of that. So don't just add bands willy nilly and you're not really sure why you're doing something because you could hurt yourself in the long run. So keep that in mind. Um, and also keep in mind to pull yourself hard down into the seat to create maximal output. Just like I kept my contact points in the V squat, I'm keeping my contact points here. After those three movements for quads, I moved on to an arm, um, an arm portion of my workout where I went over the pronated grip easy bar curl um, for some brachioradialis work, uh, which went very well. I ended up going slightly down in weight because I was feeling some discomfort in my elbow here. So I did go slightly down in weight in the, the next sets. And then I moved on to this super set of standing dumbbell curl with the seated incline DB curl. So the point of this superset again is getting the muscle short. So where the most tension in this exercise happens is right there at the top when my muscle in my bicep is fully shortened in that range. Um, a fully shortened bicep, I'm not getting it fully short here. Um, but I'm getting as short as I can in this movement. And then I move on to incline DB curl, which I know a lot of my clients have questions on this. And I showed you, I adjusted the seat there for a reason, because if you get some impingements in your shoulder, you need to raise the seat up. That's a huge mistake that I used to make is leaving the seat too low. And uh, I would get a lot of tension in my front delt. So just to move through some execution 
points on this movement. I am squeezing my triceps at the bottom, squeezing all the way up. But why I'm squeezing my triceps at the bottom is to fully, not only fully lengthen my bicep, but also maximally contract my bicep out of the bottom. Um, because the, again, the point of this in the superset is to add to the lengthened range. All right guys, we are back from the workout. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I, I hope you really found that there's a point to everything that I do and there is a rhyme and reason for each, each execution cue or and tip and everything that I'm doing. So um, really plug into that uh, in future videos and if you have to go back and rewatch this, um, there's no shame in that. So uh, what I'm hitting now is a post-workout meal with just chicken and rice. Uh, I think you guys will notice that there weren't many veggies today um, and I'm not your typical if it fits your macros dieter where I don't really eat veggies because it's not cool or you know you can't get shredded on you know junk food we'll say. Um, I do believe in, in eating nu nutrient dense whole foods so uh, I really want to shine that I will I usually eat more veggies for breakfast but we are a little low on veggies right now. Um, so I'm going to wait till my last two meals of the day um, post this meal to really get in those fruits and veggies and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I'll show you guys the macros for this meal and how this meal turns out. It's going to be pretty bland, chicken and rice with some sauce on it, but um, it is effective post-workout just for some proteins and carbs. So here we have the post-workout meal, chicken, rice, some sauce. Uh, put some soy sauce in there for some sodium and some taste. And then uh, we topped it with some Himalayan uh, sea salt. And also uh, I'm going to drink this coconut water. Uh, coconut water is great for uh, just re helping rehydrate the cell for potassium and um, some sodium as well. So uh, potassium, sodium, electrolytes to help rehydrate the cell, Ch uh, protein in the chicken to help rebuild muscle after our workout, and then the glycogen in the carbohydrates with the rice. So I hope that helps. Um, I know we have all levels of fitness on here from advanced, beginner, intermediate, you name it. So I wanna give tips for everyone. So if this introductory nutrition type stuff bores you, I'm sorry, but I know it's helping a lot. So this will actually be the end of the video. So. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around for the end. I'll see you in the next video.